Good evening, everybody. It's Minister Lou. We are reading out of the removed books of the Bible from the Apocrypha. We are on the book of Estrus. We are on chapter 3. Phew, excuse me. Let's begin, shall we? Let's learn this together. Now when Darius reigned, he made a great feast unto all his subjects and unto all his household, and unto all the princes of Medea and Persia, and to all the governors and captains and lieutenants that were under him, from India unto Ethiopia, of a hundred twenty and seven provinces. And when they had eaten and drank drunken, and being satisfied were gone home, then Darius the king went unto his bedchamber and slept, and soon after awakened. Then three young men that were of the guard that kept the king's body spake one to another. Let every one speak let every one of us speak a sentence. He that shall overcome excuse me, let me uh prop this up a little bit. And whose sentence shall seem wiser than the others, unto him shall the, the king Darius give great gifts and great things in token of victory, as to be clothed in purple, to drink in gold, and to sleep upon gold, and a chariot with bridles of gold, and a head tire of fine linen, and a chain about his neck. And he shall sit next to Darius because of his wisdom and shall be called Darius his cousin and then everyone wrote his sentence sealed it and laid it under King Darius pillow and said that when the king is risen someone will give him the writings and of whose side the king and the three princes of Persia shall judge that his sentence is the wisest to him shall the victory be given as was appointed. The first wrote, wine is the strongest. The second wrote, the king is the strongest. The third wrote, women are the strongest, but above all things, truth beareth away the victory. Now when the king was risen up, they took their writings and delivered them unto him. And so he read them. And sending forth, he called all the princes of Persia, and Medea, and the governors, and the captains, and the lieutenants, and the chief officers, and sat him down in the royal seat of judgment, and the writings were read before them. And he said, Call the young men, and they shall declare their own sentences. So they were called and came in. And he said unto them, Declare unto us your mind concerning the writings. Then began the first who had spoken of the strength of wine. And he said thus, O ye men, how exceedingly strong is wine. It causeth all men to err that drink it. <clears throat> it maketh the mind of the king and of the fatherless child to be all one, of the bondman and of the free man of the poor man and of the rich and turneth also everyone thought into jo jollity and mirth so that a man remembereth neither sorrow nor debt and it maketh every heart rich so that a man remembereth neither king nor governor and it maketh to speak all things by talents and when they are in their cups they forget their love both to friends and brethren and a little after drawing out swords but when they are from the wine they remember not what they have done O ye men is not the wine is not wine the strongest that enforceth to do thus excuse me excuse me miss you go hold your commentary to the end
Thank you. And when he had so spoken, he held his peace. Wow. That is a little bit of wisdom. He, he didn't lie. Alcohol does make people happy. It does make them forget their sorrows. And tomorrow, we'll get into what the second man had to say. And I'll probably do a, a remembrance of what we were talking about today. Whew. It's getting interesting now. Excuse me. I thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. It's really interesting reading out of the Apocrypha. Hmm. I hope that when we finish all the books of the Apocrypha that we get to have an understanding of why King James removed them. We will see. Well, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, everyone. It is. It truly, truly is. If you look around and see the times that we live in, they're not the best. The time has come to repent of our sins. The time has come to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior. To come to know who Jesus Christ is. To know who our Heavenly Father is. I love you guys. Jesus loves you guys. And our Heavenly Father loves you guys. Shalom.